The world is gone once again. The Jaded One has tasked me with rebuilding this world one block at a time. But one wrong step and it all goes down the drain. Agrarian Skies 2 Ah, yes, a new day, a wonderful day, but look, there's a little bit of a breeze outside. Sun rays are coming in. Oh, look at this beautiful morning. It's so beautiful out here. Ooh, that's, that's no good. No, 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 we're going to stay over here. <laughs> oh, look at the water. Ooh. Hello, everybody. This is Bench85. Welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies. I believe this is episode six, if I remember correctly. If you haven't figured it out, I am using shaders. Um, I decided to, to give it a try. I want to see what you guys think about it. Um, I think it adds a little bit of flair, a little bit of fun to this to this series. Uh, if you've seen my Terra Firma Craft, um, that series, you've seen me use um, Seuss shaders before. Um, I tried them on here, it's like, nah, I've seen them already, I want to try something different. Uh, this is Sildor's Vibrant Shaders. Um, on top of that, I also have Mr. Meep shaders installed, just haven't, here's the Seuss ones actually. Um, wasn't too fond of that one. I think it would be really neat for a different series because it gives a really neat fog effect at night. But uh, yeah, we're 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 gonna do this episode and see what you guys think. Uh, if you don't like it, let me know. So I got power running. Uh, the other thing that changed is we are in version um, 0.42, and the progression mod that stopped me from making this survivalist generator is now out of here. So I built it because, well, yeah. I also built a pulverizer. I got him hooked up to power. I want to know what happens if I pulverize cobble. Does it give me gravel or sand? Sand. Okay. That um, is the standard output, generally. Which isn't bad. I might have to figure out a way to make gravel, though. Uh, but I think I want to change how this is set up a little bit. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It makes gravel. Oh, this is lovely. That's exactly what I want to see. Good. I need to drain some of this. Well, that's beautiful. Perfect. Okay, so the reason that's perfect is, uh, see, normally a pulverizer makes sand, and I want to be able to sift gravel. So the fact that it makes gravel for me, I think is amazing. So what I want to do, I want to... Actually, I just probably need one, one chest for here now. And I'm going to set this guy so that it outputs both. Um, actually, I'm going to, uh, what is it? There we go. Orange, so that everything gets output into this chest. Then what I'm going to want is the auto sifter. Um, right here, which we still need to make. Might have what I need to make it. So from the auto sifter is going to go into um, a chest here, which I might not have enough space for this now. I know what I want. I know how I want to do this. It's just whether or not I can lay this out properly. 
because I changed my mind on how I want to do this. Of course I did. I always think of better ideas and then I want to change everything. The funny part is, when I get a full-on setup going here, this pulverizer setup is actually going to be uh, one level below us. So I'm going to put that there for now. I had to fill back up with power, unfortunately. Okay, let's look at getting our auto sifter um, set up. Ooh. I still might not have enough room. We may need to move this again. I'm just going to do that for now, alright? And you, sir, you're going to grab half of that and you're just going to start doing that. Um, let's make the auto sifter. The auto sifter is something that I think can really help us out here because we need to... Actually, it's a... S Where is this? Right here, automatic sieve. So we're going to need some invar and we're going to need an electrum gear. Okay, silk mesh is easy to make. So invar, if you remember, is two parts iron, one part uh, ferrous, which I believe is also nickel. I have one nickel here and I have two iron. And I think I have, yeah, I already have two invar in there. Perfect. So this, if I put these together, should make me um, some invar, which is what we're going to need. We're also going to need four things of electrum. Electrum is silver and I should know this. Electrum. Silver and gold, oh, of course. Um, I don't have any gold, do I? Oh wait, here we go. I do have some gold. There, those two together should make four things of Electrum, which should be enough in the gear cast. Yep, I have three units of Invar. Perfect. I thought it wasn't going to make it there. It's like, come on now, you're going to work. Is it kind of eerie being able to look down right here and see nothing but void? <laughs> so we need those guys. Um, we're going to need the gear cast instead. There we go, four ingots of electrum. Perfect. Ooh, but the question is, do I have enough silk? String. I need nine pieces of string, and I'm not sure how much I saved. There isn't any in here, is there? Darn it. Well, you know what that means? Oh, you know what? It's going to stop the waving, because it doesn't know what... Uh, infected leaves look like. That's okay. So I'm gonna have to infect a tree here. I don't want it to cross. Hey. So I'm just gonna break the leaves out. And uh, I'm gonna have to come back to you guys when I make that because it's gonna take a while to infest these leaves and uh, you guys don't want to wait around for me. But then we'll put down our auto sieve and uh, we'll check this thing out. Alright guys, I think we're set now. Just got my silk mesh. <sighs> Automatic sifter. Nice. I think this is going to require power. We're going to find out. So I'm guessing if I put this here, yeah, it does need power. And I can't necessarily pull... F I don't think it can pull from a chest. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it back here. 
And uh, I just realized I'm going to need a wrench. <laughs> That's awesome. Sure, it's a wrench, but any tool is a hammer if you need it to be. Uh, we need three pieces of iron and one piece of tin. Uh, we got one piece of tin, but we're going to need some iron, it looks like. Oh, we might as well just smelt up a full set here, right? While we're at it. So what I'm going to do, and how I want to do this, I think... We're going to put a chest here. Well, that, uh, that just looks funny. That's better. So this chest is what's going to have the, the dusts uh, that I just threw in there. These guys. I'm going to put them into here, ready to be smelted, and I'll smelt them when I want them to be smelted. Now, uh, we're going to have to put down... One there. And so I only have one left. See, I'd like the sieve to jump into a chest. Oh, I could dump it in right here. Item ducted here. And from that chest, item ducted into here. Like so. I have no problem laying this out like this. So now we should be able to put this guy there. He's not getting any power because there's no power to there because it all went into here. Um, I was expecting this. We're just going to get a bunch of charcoal. We're going to run stuff off of charcoal. Uh, we should have some iron blocks in here. This is the grind that you guys don't get to see necessarily. I have spent hours here, and I really want to get this setup working because a couple hours in between is is rough. And uh, I will be glad when I can actually start progressing in here a little bit further. So right now there's a lot of uh, setup things, and once we get this set up, I think we should uh, be able to start knocking things out pretty good. So from here, that's exactly what I want to happen. And then we're going to have to put in a s no. Servo has to go here. And this is where we enable it. Up, oh, there we go. Now it's going in here. Perfect. So it's going to use power. It's consuming 6 RF per tick. That's not bad. So we're going to get the ores into here. So like I said, I want to put a double chest here. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll put an item duct in here. Oh. You don't connect, do you? Oh, we can get fancy with this then. Ready for this? Oh wait, no we can't because I can't get power over to here because I don't have enough redstone. Darn it. So if I put this here, Gotta put a servo here again. No. When we do that, it should start putting stuff into here, right? It's gonna be slow because they're the simplest. Yeah. Um, the simplest servos.
But what it should do is it should grab any of them. Yeah. So what happens if I just put a chest here? I wonder if that's going to output to there. Ooh. Uh, you have no power, that's right. Let's grab some of these ores in here. I want to see if how this auto packager works. Nice. So let's throw a piece or two in there. You should start getting power. So let's throw some of these in here. We got two there. There, we just got four right now. So it doesn't seem to be grabbing it. Can this be turned? Oh, it can be. I wonder if this right here is the input, like that. Didn't seem to grab it, did it? Hmm. I thought I knew how to use this guy. Two by two mode only. That's how I want it set up. Apparently there's something else with how this works that I'm not getting. So let me look this up. So I think I've got it. Actually, we gotta turn it. So apparently, what it has to do is it has to be input on the left side, output on the right side. Oh, and you're not gonna see. Is looking for it up in this top part, I bet. No. Yeah, see, now it just grabbed a bunch of them. So I guess as long as we keep most of these ore type stuff up in the top, we should be okay. See, now it's giving me all these guys right here. So if I grab these, I need to find a good way to break these guys up. Put these back in. It should pull them and package them at some point. There, it just did. It saves me a little bit of the crafting, I suppose. Now, I wonder, can I throw this into here? You can. Oh, but it just does that. Well, that's not ideal. Uh, you can give me a little bit more uh, fair, or not fair, so in VAR, because I'm probably going to need it. Okay. So that's interesting. So it's not a perfect setup, but it sure saves me from having to break a whole lot of cobblestone type stuff, because that is a pain. So I got the dust here. I got some sand here. Throw that in here. And my thoughts are then is once this is done, should process the next one here. Come on, buddy. There it is. Now I have these separated out, and I have sand here. So it's semi-automated. These can go into the smeltery whenever I'm done. So it'll kind of work. Um, this is almost caught up. It's going to be slow on power. That's just how it's going to work. I never did check to see how much power it uses. 
How much cobble do I have left? Sitting around. Just 18 pieces. No, I'll probably throw them in. We'll let this run for a little bit. Um, but I think we need to look at something else um, that we need to set up. Ooh, those ray marks are interesting. I'm liking the shading. Shaders. But I gotta take a look and see. Maybe we take a look at the quest book. Or maybe we build ourselves a mob farm. Um, I'm not sure which I want to go to next. Uh, so let me take a look at things. Alright, so maybe I might have changed my mind just a touch. We're going to perfect this because I just got an idea. But I think we need ourselves another survivalist generator running here. Just to make sure we got enough power running here. Let's see, I'm going to feed... I still do need this one though. There we go. That one's dumping its power. That one's dumping its power. They should be feeding to everything. If I'm not mistaken. You know, there's a better way to do this. Shoot, I'm going to lose that. Well, I got plenty of charcoal. Let's move this over. Because I think... Throw this in here. Yeah, it's going to feed... Well, but I don't want to... See how complicated things can get here? My idea was, well, I'll save by putting this down here. Um, I guess what it's going to do most importantly is it's going to feed power into the pulverizer first and then into everything else. Yeah, that might work out. But yeah, want to see something really cool though? This is what we're going to utilize. Automatic hammer. Oh yeah. We're going to plop this bad boy down right over here. Yeah, we'll make a platform. Just because we can. Just as I walked up, I'm like, what if there's void space under there? That's not going to be good. So we're going to drop this guy down. Uh, I'm going to need to put some power to it. So we'll drop that guy down there. He'll start getting power. The idea is this guy works just like this hammer right here. Okay? So, the auto packager packages up, put stuff in here, like gravel ore, for example. We'll item duct it out into here. This will break it down, put it back into the chest. Auto packager will grab it again. So, by the time it's done, all that's left here should be the tin ore or the dusts. At least that's the plan. Then I can just come here, grab all the dust, carry them over here, and I'll put them in when I feel like putting them in. Pretty cool, right? On top of that, um, I'd like to make another one of those, but they're expensive because they take an anvil. I'd like to put one right here. Um, and what I do is I would feed the sand into this one, and then feed it back into the sieve here, okay? Uh, so that we'd be getting the dust. That way I can get, uh, like, the redstone stuff. Um, redstone is one of the most important things that i found that I need in here. And I seem to have a lack of it. So, something I want to look at. Okay. But, where was I going with this? Oh, we need to look at compact storage. Why? Well, I'm having a trouble with this chest over here. I'm going to show you what I mean in just a moment. I need six iron ingots, though. Three. And I've almost exhausted the amount of iron that I have, so... It's a bit pricey. But it's okay, I can start running cobble through my system. But we're going to need a better power gen pretty soon. 
something better than survivalist generators. Uh, no, there we go, six. I also need two levers and a chest. Should be lever here, lever here, iron ingots. Perfect, a builder. I'm afraid of what the recipes are going to be like for this guy, but I'm going to put him in here. Okay. Oh, that's what I thought. So, this is a normal chest, all right? Nine rows, three columns, right? I want to be able to build one that has six columns, right? So we're going to need one chest, six iron, six iron bars, one clay. Ouch. One, three, three, one. So what if I increase rows? A little more iron bar. Little, oh, okay. Oof. Well, this would be basically a double chest right here. You can even choose color. Oh, we can make it green. That would be cool. So we're going to need a chest. We're going to need six iron. We're going to need actually 12 iron. We're going to need one clay. Lovely. Well, you know what that means? You, sir, you need to start working. Because here's the problem. This dumps into this chest right here, which is the bottom chest. Okay. This grabs from here, this chest, which is the top chest right here. You see my problem? It dumps into here. Yeah, just like that. Doesn't needs to go up into there. So I need to make this a single chest. Well, we don't have iron chest, but we have compact storage. I'll show you guys this quick. Compact storage here, which gives you the drawers. Or no, okay, just just here. So what we're looking at doing is making a double chest. And the reason why I can't uh, look at the um. The recipe is because it's only done in the builder, which is what I already built. Uh, so that's what you saw over there. So I'm going to have to gather resources now. Broken iron ore is the most important one. Package that for me. Please. Two iron gravel ore. How much do I need? I need six. I need 12. So I'm going to need six of these guys. So we'll see how long it takes for me to work that up. All right, I think we should have enough to call it good. By the way, with modded, if you didn't know this, uh, if you do logs instead, you'll get four chests. It's kind of an extra, you know, a less, less step, basically. So we need. We want nine rows, six columns. We need one clay. Uh, we're going to need some of these guys. Oh, I thought I was actually building it or putting it in like that. And then we need one chest, correct? And we're going to make it green because, you know, why not? And by the way, you can change between backpack and chest. Just something cool. Let's build it. Oh, just spits it right out there, doesn't it? So here's where it might get a little messy. We're going to have to break that chest and place this one. I think I'm just, I'm just going to break it. I'm going to just break both of them right away. Oh, so much of a mess. Let's see if we can grab everything and throw it in here. I really wish I had uh, inventory tweaks that would um, be able to auto sort stuff. These go in, these go in, that goes in. 
There we go. So it's a it's a double chest, a nine by six basically. Perfect. Uh, we just need one item duct here. There we go. Going in here, and it should be able to grab from anywhere, right? Oh, yep. Perfect. And by the way, this thing is running. This thing is so cool. Watch this. It picks it up, puts it underneath, and then crunch. That's such good animation. And this one is good. So now it is basically fully automatic and fully operational. The only difference being is that I want to be able to process the sand, like I said. And that's going to need... Ooh, it's going to need one more of these guys. Not looking forward to doing that. But at least this part is all set up, ready to go. And we're just basically gaining power. But what we're going to need is we're going to need some sort of a power gen. Unfortunately. So, I think with that... Ooh, I wonder. No, because it's only going to give me... I was like, I don't want to put some lava in here, but... It's going to be 5 RF per tick no matter what. Doesn't matter what I put in here. It'll always be 5 RF per tick. So I'm going to collect some resources. Um, I moved all my sands over to here. So when basically when I get 9 of one of them, unless I need it beforehand, I'll throw them in the smeltery so that I can make 2 blocks out of it. Um, I think that's a good setup for it. Until then, I guess we're just kind of waiting around. And right now it's just kind of gaining power back. Because um, it uses up more power than what I can output. And that means everything slows down to a crawl, unfortunately. Yeah, you sift up that dust. I need that redstone. Give me some redstone. One redstone. Got powder nickel ore. No, I want redstone. Please. As uh, iron ore. I guess I'll take that. In fact, it'll grab it and put it in. Jink. Gone. Nice. Oh, we got two diamonds and one emerald. Three blaze powder. And eh, we're getting stuff. So we're definitely going to need some power gen of some sort. Let me look at the quest book here. I think what I want to do... Oh, that's right. I have two of them. forgot about this. Uh, my sifting, I got ancient spores. The reward is ancient spores. Ah, we're going to have to look into which water at some point. Uh, oh, I did something here. Oh, I made the builder. Oh, and then you <laughs> you get the iron bars then. Good to know. Filing cabinet. Uh, we'll use those at another later date. Just like we're going to have to start using uh, better barrels as well. But what did I want to look at in here? I want to unlock power grid. In order to unlock power grid, I think I need to build this guy, the power drive. Or the stone power drive. Stone generator. We get coal from it. it makes 40 RF per tick instead of 5. Stone generator gets very hot, so be careful. Huh. So here's the thing. If I look up a stone generator, this is easy. Ooh, block of redstone. Another block of redstone. Everything else I can get. So I need to get me some sand. Or some dust, I should say. And I wonder. If I turn this off for the moment, if I throw a piece of cobblestone in, I want to test something quick. I get the gravel. 
Can I put gravel back in? Yes, it'll give me sand, I bet. Right? This will give me dust. You know what? We may have to do it that way. That'll give me enough redstone uh, to do that. So we'll start off next episode, I think, putting down the stone generator, uh, building it, because that seems like the right thing to do. And I think I'm going to set this guy into 2x2, two two, then 3x3. Three three. I'm curious. I think he'll take the coal block and make a coal block out of it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he just did. So we'll get coal blocks out of it, which I'm okay with. Uh, a little bit more compact storage. So yeah, well, next episode we'll put down the stone generator, probably right here, so we can get some more power into this system. And then... I don't know. I'm gonna have to give this some thought, because I'm not sure which direction I want to take this. I mean, I could make a mob grinder. Um... Hmm. Once I get this thing more power and get this thing automated to get dust, this should be a matter of drop a bunch of cobble into here and just let it go. And I won't have to worry about resources uh, other than just time. So a mob farm might not be a bad thing to do. But like I said, I would like to be able to get into the storage stuff too. We gotta start knocking out these quests. Oh, I wanna get auto repair. We're gonna do. We're gonna do this quest for sure. I think we're gonna look into completing quests next time. Uh, we'll set this up and then we're just gonna dedicate next episode to completing as many quests as we can before we move on to our next project. I think that. Ooh, look at that. You can't see me. Ooh, there we go. There's the sun rays for you. Isn't that cool? Oops. Oops. Stop breaking saplings. With that, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the shaders. Um, I'm liking them. I'm liking the movement in the trees. I think it's a little, it, it adds a little nice spin to it, I think. I, I like it. Uh, but with that, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, take it easy.